coming from a small town, we've kind of just dealt with a lot of different aspects of um, people being either confused as to um, what our family uh, is about or um, want to express their own opinions. Samus wanted to uh, be in ballet class and we approached uh, the instructor and the instructor said, yeah, um, we can work around that and um, then you go in and <clears throat> you're told that your child can only wear um, a certain thing. She can't wear the tutus that she wants to wear. She can't um, be in the girl parts of a ballet. At first, um, you know, when we told her, okay, your ballet teacher says you can be in ballet class, but you have to wear a, a black um, leotard and you have to wear black shorts with it, um, she was very like, no. I don't want to. I want to wear a purple tutu. I want to wear pink ballet shoes. But I do have to say that that was the first kind of interaction that we had. And <clears throat> through, we've learned that through supporting our child and just being there and being the advocates for her, things can change. Um, because at the end of this ballet class, she was able to wear a tutu and ballet sh pink ballet shoes and she was you know welcomed by her class and her uh, teachers and you know at the end when her teacher got on board too it was like a total weight was lifted off of her and she could be free and she could be whoever she wanted and so she was happier and she I mean she got up there for the last dance recital and I mean, we go through that video constantly because it's just, light is just beaming from her. Um, and so it's, it's one of those things where you know that you're doing the right thing. You know that you're being the parent that she needs. Um, so we're really happy, we're really happy that she feels it and um, that we can be there for her.